The chest wall, comprised of ribs and associated muscles, is vital to how your breast will appear after enhancement. The reason for this is quite simply that your chest wall is the platform or foundation upon which your breasts sit and project from. An ideal chest wall is flat. However, some are barrel shaped, this can vary from mild to extreme, while others point inwards. Also, often these issues with the chest wall are not particularly noticeable when the breasts are small, but become quite evident with larger breasts, that is, after breast enhancement surgery. The results of breast enhancement surgery, and in particular the potential cleavage, is largely dependent on the person's pre-existing chest wall shape. As stated, an ideal chest wall shape is flat. In this situation, essentially the platform of your breast is flat and pointing in a directly forwards manner. The axis of the breast is always perpendicular to the chest wall, and as shown, the nipples are pointing directly forward along the axis of the breasts. As demonstrated, these lines run parallel to each other. So when the breasts are increased in size with implants, the breasts project along the axis in a directly forward manner, and the nipples remain the same distance apart. It can be appreciated through this that to improve the cleavage, several aspects of the implants are vital. Firstly, choosing an appropriately wide implant has a significant impact on cleavage. The implant must appropriately occupy your breast base width. Too narrow an implant results in a wide cleavage gap. Also, the depth of your cleavage can be altered based on the profile of the implant. The greater the profile of the implant, the greater the angle that your breasts have from your chest wall. Here we have moderate, high, and extra high profile implants, and the changes in cleavage associated with each. In contrast to a flat chest wall, a barrel shaped chest wall is like this. Immediately you notice that the angle between the breast is much greater and we have a much shallower cleavage. Also, because the axis of each breast is perpendicular to the chest platform, then they project away from each other as each breast points outwards. Therefore, with implants, the breasts are projected along this axis, so effectively the nipples end up further apart. Given this chest wall shape and the shallow cleavage area, then it follows that it is not possible to achieve a deep cleavage that's possible with a flat chest wall. This is regardless of the width or profile of the implant. The final example of a chest wall shape is concave. In this situation, the cleavage area of the chest wall is deep. Essentially, the breast platform is collapsed along the midline. And we can see how the axis of the breasts are pointing towards each other. So when we perform an enhancement, the breasts are projected forward along this axis and effectively the nipples move closer together. Furthermore, the cleavage in this situation is typically very deep as the breasts move closer together. 